Hello, shalom once again, and welcome to today's broadcast on Christmas. Jesus is the reason for the season. So this is the second day of our daily broadcast, and we'll be going through the stories around the birth of Jesus Christ throughout this season, or throughout this series. All right, let's go quickly into the book of Luke. We're going to read the book of Luke chapter 1, from verse 26 to verse 38. So this scripture is going to help us to understand what actually happened at the time of the announcement of the birth of Jesus. All right. So we know that Mary was betrothed to Joseph. Mary was betrothed to Joseph. And before they got together, there was an interesting thing that happened. So let us go and find out what actually happened. All right. So um, go with me, if you will, to the book of Luke, chapter 1. And we're going to read from verse 26. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, to the house of, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor before God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has been has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, this, the, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. That's verse 38. Behold, the angel visited Mary and announced to Mary the good news of her being chosen, having found favor with God and being chosen to be the one that will give birth to the Savior. And Mary was really um, puzzled at the greeting of the angel because this kind of a thing has never happened before. So she was really puzzled. She wondered to herself what manner of greeting this was. What manner of greeting was this? This has never happened in the history of humanity. That someone who is a virgin had a baby. It had never happened in the history of humanity. And the angel of the Lord explained to her the reason for the, the message. And once the message was clear to her, she accepted and said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it happen to me according to the word of the Lord. So when you hear good news from God, when you hear a message from, from the Lord to yourself, you were encouraged to treat it like Mary. When it wasn't clear, you asked questions. You know, many of us Christians will think that you cannot ask God questions. We think that if you ask questions of things that are not clear to you, that it might show that you do not have faith. We know that Mary is someone who knew God, who had a personal relationship with God. And we're going to see that as we read through the book of Luke, because you will see in the Magnificent or the Magnification Song, 
when she sang the song, you could tell that it was replete with scriptures. She never said, um, it was never written that she was prophesying or that she was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke words that she wasn't familiar with. No, she said things that were she was familiar with. She talked about the promises of God to the fathers. So she was familiar with the promises of God to the fathers. So she is someone who had a personal relationship with the father. And so she was familiar, but, but a news came to her that she wasn't, she hadn't heard before. You know, yesterday I talked about biology 101. She said to the angel, biology 101, I shouldn't be talking about having a baby. I haven't even, you know, wedded Joseph. I haven't even completed the marriage ceremony with Joseph. So what are you talking about? And the angel explained to her, I think in the language and the urgency of the language, she knew that she wasn't going to com complete the wedding ceremony before she gets pregnant. She knew that even though Joseph would take her, marry her before she gave birth to the baby, but she knew from the urgency of the message that she wasn't going to wait and go through all the steps of com completing the marriage rituals or ceremonies before this uh, imminent message, urgent message happens. So she asked a question. Normally, this happens after you get married and then you, you, you go home with your, your husband and then you do what you're supposed to do and then you have a baby. But you, the way you're telling me this message, the message you're giving to me presuppose that I don't have to do all those things. So how can this be? And, and the angel says, the power of the Almighty will make it happen. And the moment it was clear to her, then the angel also gave her a testimony. Sometimes testimonies are good to drive points home. You know, in her mind, she was thinking about impossibility. This is something that can't be done. And the angel says to her, look, there's another one that people say couldn't be done. Elizabeth, your relative, they have changed her name from Elizabeth to Barry. They have changed her name. They have used a situation to describe her. And the angel says, but now she's six months pregnant. And then the, Mary said, wow, I am a maidservant. I serve the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The angel only left after mission was accomplished. The message was to get her to agree to sign up to believe. And I'm going to skip, even though I, I wanted to keep it for another day, but let's skip to verse 45 and see what Mary said to Elizabeth. What Elizabeth said to Mary, sorry. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were spoken to her from the Lord. Blessed, this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible. Blessed is she who believes. The message from the angel was to get to was to get married to the point that she believes. Blessed is she that believes, for there shall be a performance. Blessed is she that believes. When you believe, God is duty-bound to do what he said he would do. All he needs to get you to is the point of belief. The moment she got to the point where she believed, then it became possible. Do you believe these things? All right, tomorrow we'll continue our reading on the story of the birth of Jesus and also other surrounding stories like John the Baptist, the forerunner.